On seven tonight, General Motors is reporting they should be done paying out those claims by this spring to the families of those injured or killed in those vehicles with those ignition switch issues. GM started the program last year to deflect controversy after it became clear that the problem was known all the way back to 2004. Another major compensation issue remains unanswered. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner shows you now more secrets the company says they will not reveal. We talk by satellite with plan administrator Ken Feinberg in Washington, D.C. He is adamant that his pay has nothing to do with what he approves or disapproves for victims. He says he's getting a flat fee. My law firm's private contractual relationship with General Motors is totally and 100% unrelated to the number of claims we process, the number we find eligible, or the dollars that we award. GM reported it paid out $93 million in claims as of the end of January. That's a fraction of what it originally set aside, $600 million. As of this week, 64 death claims were approved for payment, along with 108 injury claims. 1,500 claims are still pending. We pressed Feinberg. Why not release his contract terms with the company? You could release it if you wanted to, couldn't you, in the interest of transparency? That's up to General Motors. I, I, we have no say on that. They're paying, so they, uh, they, they reserve their rights on that. Feinberg is well known as the master of disaster, including handling compensation programs for the Boston Marathon bombing and the BP oil spill. But in that case, his contract with the oil giant was not made public until a lawsuit forced it. Feinberg prides himself in transparency. Anything to do with the claims program itself is very transparent. As to my law firm's personal compensation with GM, uh, you'll have to ask GM. And if some critic wants to say that's not transparent, well, I guess it isn't. General Motors tells us there are no plans to release Ken Feinberg's contract now, and they will not speculate on that in the future. In Warren, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.